WoW Classic is divided into six phases, of which we've already moved through four. You might wonder, are we already more than halfway through the game? To try and estimate this, we are going to compare the duration and content of the first phases with the coming phases, to try and get an idea of how long they will last. For example, how much time is a 40-man raid tier worth? We're going to compare the patches in vanilla that makes up the faces of classic and adjust for the fact that players shoo through content way faster today than they did back then. We are also going to look at whether Blizzard tries to delay the release of faces until the active player base population starts dropping and see if we can find any clues from there. At the end of the video we'll see all the numbers we've come up with. First off, we'll quickly look at each of the four first phases, what they contained and how long they were current contents. Phase 1. Announced the 14th of May and that is when they announced the release date, not when they announced the game. It was released the 26th of August and the time between was 104 days. This was the release phase of Classic, containing Onyxia, Molten Core, as well as all dungeons except Armal. There is no PvP system in place, nor any battlegrounds. Phase 1 lasted for 78 days. Phase 2 Announced on the 1st of November and released on the 12th of November. The time between? 11 days. With this phase came the Diremol dungeons together with world bosses Lord Kassak and Aeshergoss. On top of that the honor system was added. Still no battlegrounds however, so open PvP it was. Phase 2 lasted for either 26 days or 90 days, depending on whether you count Phase 2.5 as an actual phase. Phase 2.5 announced the 20th of November and released the 10th of December. The time between 20 days. Ultrak Valley as well as Warson Gulch were added more than two months before they were initially planned with Blizzard releasing them early in the so-called Phase 2.5. This indicates that players were chewing through content faster than what was anticipated at first. Of course, looking back, it seems odd to believe the world PvP together with two world bosses and three dungeons were three months worth of content. Phase 2.5 lasted for 64 days. Phase 3 Announced the 10th of January and released the 12th of February, the time between 33 days. With Phase 3 came the second raid tier to WoW Classic, Blackwing Lair as well as the Dark Moon Fair. Besides that, um, a few receipts and reputation rewards, but not much else. Phase 3 lasted for a total of 63 days or 28, depending on whether you count Phase 3.5 as an actual phase. Phase 3.5 Announced on the 5th of March and released on the 11th of March. The time between? Only 6 days. As with the other Battlegrounds of Classic, Arathi Basin was also released earlier than planned. Phase 3.5 lasted for a total of 35 days. Phase 4 announced on the 28th of February and released on the 15th of April. Time between either 47 days or 7 days depending on how you count, as a general release date was given on the 28th of February, but the precise date wasn't told until a week before. With Phase 4 came Sulgurub the first 20-man raid of Vanilla and Classic WoW. 
The quest lines in Silithus, as well as the Dragons of Nightmare, were also added. A rather big patch with a new raid, new quest lines, and world bosses. This is the phase we're at today, with phase 4 having lasted a total of 28 days so far. What we are currently waiting for is Phase 5, with the War Efforts event, Tier 0.5, as well as the Ankurage raids, and a whole bunch of new loot being added to dungeons, such as relics, idols, and librams. As for Phase 6, the world objectives in Silithus and Eastern Plagelands, the Scourge invasion throughout the world, as well as the final raid Naxxramas awaits us. Looking at all of this in a very blunt way, the average phase seems to have lasted 77 days. This would mean that we at most have another 7 weeks of phase 4. This in itself doesn't seem to be too bad of a guess in my opinion. This would mean phase 5 was to come on the 1st of July. It seems as if Blizzard keeps announcing the next phase earlier and earlier prior to release, even though the exact date for phase 4 wasn't given until a week before release, a more general date was given much sooner. If this trend with increased time between announcement and release continues like it has before, we should have the announcement of phase 5 about 58 days before its release meaning roughly now. If we were to look at the average time between announcing and releasing, it should be announced about 27 days after release of phase 4, meaning the 8th of June. But how long will phase 5 last? Or in other world, when will phase 6 be released? Phase 5 is arguably the largest phase of Classic, containing the war effort events, the new dungeon loot, including Librams, Totems of Relics, upgraded dungeon tier 2.5, a 20-man raid, as well as a 40-man raid with a reputation linked to it. Now the average phase has lasted for 77 days, however that seems rather short for a phase of this size. Estimating the length of phase 6 from this seems very difficult. Now it's not only another phase, it's the end of Classic. In a way, it makes sense to compare the timeline of Vanilla to that of Classic, so let's see what we can find. Patch 1.1 and 1.2 are roughly equivalent of Phase 1, and those two patches lasted for 120 days in Vanilla, meanwhile Phase 1 was 78 days in Classic. Patch 1.3, 1.4 and 1.5 lasted for 127 days in Vanilla and Phase 2 was 90 days in Classic. Patch 1.6 lasted for 63 days in Vanilla and Phase 3 lasted for 63 days in Classic. Patch 1.7 and 1.8 lasted for 112 days in Vanilla. These two patches are the equivalent of Phase 4. Now the equivalent of phase 1 and 2 in Classic were about 45% longer in Vanilla. Meanwhile Blackwing Lair was the exact same length. Hence we could guess that phase 4 will last for about 77 days, being 45% shorter in Classic than it was in Vanilla. After these patches however, the numbers get quite large. Patch 1.9 and 1.10 lasted for 168 days, suggesting Phase 5 should last for 115. Patch 1.11 and 1.12 lasted for a total of 231 days, meaning it would be 160 days in Classic. And I find that very unlikely for us to have to wait that long for the Burning Crusade, which is the very likely successor to Classic, once Naxxramas has been released. Now, generally, the more sources you have pointing towards one answer, the likelier it is that that answer will be right. At least that's often the case. Comparing numbers from Vanilla to numbers from Classic, and trying to account for the fact that we chew through content much faster today, the number 77 emerges again, just as we had from the average face length. 
Phase 5 itself will last for about 16 weeks according to these numbers. We should be getting Phase 6 at the 21st of September then. Something that might be an important factor, which is not too easily calculated, is the amount of players currently playing the game. If that number starts dropping, Blizzard is perhaps more likely to release content a bit early, as they did with the Battleground and PvP content. Luckily, we have the measurements of Ironforge.pro to see whether that seems true. This website uses data from Warcraft logs to measure how many active raiders there are each week. So this isn't the full population, it's just the amount of active raiders. However, the active raiders are probably the bulk of active players. You might expect Blizzard to use the next phase as a way to start bringing players back to the server. But looking at these graphs, that doesn't really seem to be the case. Looking at when Blackwing Lair was announced, that also didn't have an effect on the numbers of active raiders. The only thing which seems to affect that number is whether it's a holiday such as Christmas, New Year's Eve or Spring Break. Also, what happened here? This spike seems to exist for all European servers with more than 10k active raiders. I just don't have a clue what would cause it. If you happen to have an idea, please let me know in a comment, I'm kinda curious. Anyway, it doesn't look like there's any connection between active raiding player base and faces. It has just been overall climbing steadily throughout Classic's lifetime. So to summarize things, here are our numbers. The Phase 5 announcement should be on the 5th of July if we use the Phase method. Phase 5 release should be on 1st of July according to both the Vanilla method and the Phase method. The Phase 6 announcements, according to the Phase method it should happen about a month prior to release or about 60 days depending on if you use the increasing numbers or the average numbers. As for the Phase 6 release, according to the vanilla method, the 21st of September, and the phase method, sometimes, somewhere, the numbers are too imprecise to give anything better than a guessing month. I'm guessing August, by the way. The Burning Crusade announcement, according to the vanilla method, it should come on the 20th of November, and the release, according to the vanilla method, the 19th of January. Obviously, these are just somewhat educated guesses, but I find them interesting nonetheless. Time won't tell whether I was near the real answer or not. I hope you found this interesting. Like if you did so and subscribe for more. I also stream over at twitch.tv slash clouds. Link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. See ya!